Hello, everyone. This is the Loose Cannon, David McBee, and we are over in Yellville. Last time we were here, it was sunny. It was 90 degrees. Tonight, it's hot and humid and cloudy and a chance of rain, but we're here to cover some Yellville Summit football. This is going to be a good one. Is Bigelow coming in at 4-0 and tonight, undefeated on the season, will be taking on the Yellville Summit Panthers. It seems like it's been forever since they've been here because it has been forever. It's been about four weeks, but Yellville Summit – they're back home. Big crowd coming out to support these Panthers. It should be a good one in about six minutes right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. All right, Big, Bigelow has won the toss. They've actually deferred, and we are about three minutes away. This is going to be a good one. Yellow Summit will receive the first half kickoff and defend the south end zone. Of course, another big crowd coming out to support Yellville. This is the Battle of the Panthers tonight. Of course, I do want to do a shout out tonight. We got a brand new sponsor here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network, Autastic Creations by Bethany. Bethany's actually a very special uh, girl to us. She's actually my daughter, but uh, she was diagnosed autistic when she was a young child, and she's always wanted a jewelry business. Well, Bethany's done it, and now she's actually a sponsor of the Twin Lakes Sports Network. So she's selling some uh, Yellville Summit football jewelry tonight. 10% of all sales of the jewelry will go to Autism Research. So if you're interested in purchasing that jewelry, just uh, we put a post on our page. Uh, check it out. It all goes to a great cause, and it'll make a, a sweet little girl very happy that her dream's coming true with her jewelry business. As going to be a good game here tonight here at Panther Field. Of course, Bigelow at 4-0, Yellville 1-3. Big crowd that has come out tonight. Of course, those people tuning in, this is an interactive broadcast, so reach down, hit that hit that tag button, tag in those family members or relatives. Maybe they can't make it to the game live. They can watch it right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Of 
So thanks a lot. Ronnie Inlow said, yay, Bethany. Great girl, great parents. Thanks a lot. She's she's a great girl, really proud of her, and it was actually her idea. She said, Daddy, I want to can I sell some jewelry on your broadcast show? I said, sure. You can't say no to that. There's no way. <laughs> Yeah, if I was said no to that, I would have been in trouble. So we're happy to have her as a sponsor. But And I appreciate all of our sponsors out here. We couldn't do it without each and every one of these local businesses really helping us out. You can see our scoreboard there. We got Sonic, Marion County Farm Bureau, Genuine Care Pharmacy, Arena, Grill, Vance Vision Clinic, and Shark Creek Graphics. All of our scoreboard sponsors. So appreciate them. Also, uh... If you're a Mountain Home Bomber fan tonight, be sure to check out our good friends at XL7 TV. Uh, they're going to be broadcasting the Mountain Home Bombers, so be sure to check them out. Hopefully the Bombers can get a win, and hopefully the Yellville Summit Panthers can get a win tonight too. Of course, it's been about four weeks since we've had a home game. We were in Yellville the other night for a great matchup, Yellville versus Cotter. Senior high girls volleyball. And now back in Yellville again tonight as the Panthers coming onto the field. Looks like Ronnie Inlow says he's ready for some football. Of course, all those people tuning in, remember this is an interactive broadcast. So if there's a player that you want to give a shout out to or any type of... Uh, or you just want to say, hey, I'm here to cheer the Panthers, just like Ronnie Enlow said. And also uh, Paula Hain or Paula Melton up there also said, go Panthers as well. Panther fans, on your feet, make some noise. Let's bring your Panthers to the front line. And here come the Panthers. Here they come on the field. Of course, Joey the Dealmaker Shaw with me tonight, working camera for us. I know Robert Lyons is down there running on the field, but you're going to get closer shots than him tonight. So, yeah, maybe we could get our good friend Robert Lyons down there as well. So we, we got Tracy Smith saying, Go Panthers. And here we go. Here's the kickoff. Looks like it's going to be number 74, Price. And we are off and running, short kick. That's number 25 for the Panthers. Get some roots to the outside. Bust the tackle. He looks like he's going to go. Oh, the way. Touchdown, Panthers. Number 25, Lucas McVeigh. With the touchdown, but we do have a flag on the play. What a great run by McVeigh, but we'll have to wait and see what the flag is. And it's a holding against the Panthers. Unfortunately, that's going to be coming back. But some excitement here on the opening kickoff. Right now, it's like it's going to be a 10-yard penalty from the spot. So first and 10, ball on the 35-yard line. So an opening touchdown run called back, unfortunately. Right. And under Cinder, it's going to be a number 11. It's Hal. Quick flip to the outside. That's number five. Kiter on the run. Looks like he's probably going to lose a yard or two. First play of the game. So going to be second 11 at the 34. First possession of the night. Well, this place was ready to explode early. Fortunately, a penalty brought it back, but now 
Yellville seeing if they can give Bigelow their first loss of the year. Howl under center. Quick handoff. Hard tackle. That was Keemer on the run. Hard tackle by the uh, Bigelow defense. So now a gain. Looks like a gain of one. So it's going to be third and ten. A hot and well, I would say hot. It's more uh, just a humid tonight, isn't it, Joey? Extremely humid out here. Uh, so uh, that's going to affect this game, I think. The, the players down there is it's awful out tonight. Hey, Hal, the quick flip. Number five, Keeter, maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. Or Kiter, I'm sorry, picks up about a yard. So, so it's going to be a fourth and nine. Yeah, Joey the Dealmaker said players going to need a lot of H2O tonight. Humid night with the rain. It actually poured right before we got here. Then it's uh, some nasty clouds heading this way, but we're hoping they'll skip and go the past McVay us. Right now McVay on to punt for the Panthers. Of course, both teams are Panthers. This is a battle of the Panthers tonight. Yeah, though, the kick. End over in. Gets a good Panther roll. And it goes out just about at the 20-yard line. So now, so now Bigelow's going to get it first and 10, their first possession of the game. Of course, as we said earlier, Bigelow coming in undefeated on the season. Where the uh, Panther defense has been playing so uh, well so far this season is they're going to work out of the shotgun. Hand, hand off on the first play. Looks like Hunter that's Alexander, the Alexander with the carry. Short gain for Alexander. Looks like he picked up maybe three yards. So we'll call it second and seven. As uh, Curtis with the tackle for the Panthers, so now second and seven. Again, Bigelow working out of the sh uh, shotgun formation. Again, another handoff. Gets a little room to the outside. Breaks a tackle. Explodes. He could go all the way. One man to beat, and he is taken down. Alexander with the big run. Nice play by Geyer just to save the touchdown. As if he got past uh, Geyer, he was taking it to the house. Like the ball's going to be spotted on the 40-yard uh, line, first and 10. Again, working out of the shotgun. Quick handoff. Again, cuts to the inside flag on the play. Johnson on the carry. As Johnson on the carry, but we have a flag on the play, so we'll wait and see what the call is. Caden Geyer and Jake Fields make the tackle. Uh, down. Of course, Geyer again on the tackle, so two big tackles early for Geyer. And it's going to be a holding against Bigelow. Looks like a 10-yard penalty. It's going to make it first and 20 ball now at midfield. From the 
As it looks like it's number nine. Uh, Hand off again, Alexander. Alexander again takes it to the outside, cuts back. Almost took it to the house. Alexander showing some explosive speed. Rivers Aldridge makes the tackle for Yellow Summit. It'll be first and 10, Bigelow. The 29 yard line. As tackle by Yellville. Again, just Alexander twice. Close to taking it to the house. So it's Newmeyer working out of the shotgun. Man in motion. First pass of the game. Throws it outside. Short one. Breaks a couple tackles. Knocked out of bounds. So Newmeyer completed pass to Johnston on his first pass of the game. Looks like they're going to be just short. Seven yards on the completion. Looks like seven yards on the completion. So second and three. Or Bigelow. Of course, all those people tuning in, make sure you reach down, hit that share and tag button or comment as Alexander goes right up the gut for a first down. Alexander again on the Let us know who you're cheering for. If there's a player you want us to give a shout out, this is an interactive broadcast. Joey, they can comment all they want and have a little fun online, can't we? That's right. That's what we're here to do is have a little fun and uh like I said, we love to interact with you, and if there's somebody you want us to shout out to, be sure to put their name up there on the board. All right, Newmeyer again working out of the shotgun. He's got one in the backfield, handoff. Alexander, good job by the Panther defense that time. They got good penetration, made the tackle. Looks like it's going to be a short gain there. So we'll give uh we'll give him three yards on that play. It's gonna be second and seven. Ball now on the eleven yard line. Bigelow just methodically walking it down the field and here their first possession of the game. Newmeyer had the shotgun again, hands it off. It's Alexander, he gets a little room. Man to beat, takes it in. Touchdown, Bigelow. Nice move by Alexander. Touchdown, Bigelow. Hunter Alexander. As touchdown by number two, Hunter Alexander. So Bigelow strikes first with the touchdown. And now the extra point attempt. Kick is up. And the kick is no good. Right to the right. So 7-13 left to play here in the first quarter. Bigelow has struck first. Of course, let's thank a few of our sponsors because we couldn't do this without them. Such as Arena Sports Grill in Mountain Home. Great place to watch local high school sports and have some great food. Also, Aaron and Pam Darnell, Buffalo River Float Service, Canoes, Kayak, Shuttle Services, Tubes, and more. Call them, make a reservation. Go ahead and get ready for the spring because – Canoeing season to be here before you know it. Also, Black Sheep Smokehouse and Grill, famous for brisket. Check them out on Facebook, Black Sheep Barbecue. Appreciate our friends Randy and Vicki Prowett. Also, Carla Lee Shipman, Marion County Farm Bureau. Give her a call today, 449-4081, 449-4081. Do not overpay for insurance. Contact Carla with Marion County Farm Bureau. It's right now 713 to go. Back to kick it off, number 74, this is Price. Short roller, it's like a possible onside kick. It looks like that's Geyer getting down on the 44 yard line, so good hands by Geyer. And now Yellville Summit will take possession, first and 10. Three and out on their first possession.
Again, Hal under center. He's got three in the backfield. One receiver to his left. Handoff right up the middle. Bigelow all over that. As Murphy nowhere to go. And it's going to make it second down in 10. They say he just got back to the line of scrimmage. As multiple uh, Bigelow players in on that play. Now second and 10, ball on the 43. Looks like Zach Sutterfield says, go Yovo Summit Panthers, go Brandon McCalla, number 23. Right now, again, three in the backfield. Again, quick handoff, nice cut to the inside. Raymond Kider on the carry. Is that Kider on the carry? Carter Alexander. Looks like it's Alexander with the tackle for Bigelow. And that's going to make it third and, we'll say third and two. Brings up third down and two at the 49-yard line. Ball on the 49-yard line. We appreciate each and every one of you guys tuning in here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Now Hal under center. Quick handoff up the middle. Nowhere to go on that run. Saving Keemer on the carry. Uh, that was Keemer on the carry. They're going to say a gain of a yard, so fourth and one. Ball on the 48-yard line, fourth and one. So first big decision of the night by Coach Crane. Looks like Yelvo's going to go for it, fourth and one. Laycock down to five seconds, gets the handoff. Bigelow all over that play in the backfield. Kyder the carrier, but Bigelow all over. So change of possession, they're going to take over and downs. And Yelville trying to get a spark on offense early. But Bigelow makes the stop. And now... Newmeyer leading the offense back on the field. He's, of course, he's got Alexander in the backfield. He's got some explosive speed he's one to keep an eye on. Again, working out of the sh shotgun formation, man in motion. Newmeyer looks like he's going to throw it. It's it to the outside. Good job by the Panther defense. Johnson. Pass is complete to Johnson, but great play by the Yellville defense. Loss of three. As that's number five, Norberg. So great play by Norberg. Forces Bigelow back. Again, Newmeyer in the backfield. Quick handoff. Nice cutback. Nice break to the outside. A uh, first down. Nice run by number nine, Santiago. Christian Murphy makes the tackle for the Panthers. So first down, Bigelow. Going to move the ball now to the 28-yard line. So a 24-yard run, first down for Bigelow. So 
working out shotgun again. Newmeyer fumbles it, gets the ball back. Recovered by Newmeyer for Bigelow. Back at the 36 yard line. So it's going to be a loss of eight yards, second and 18. And uh, the deal maker is joining us on camera tonight. You mentioned earlier, you know, with the humidity and moisture, that ball might be hard to hold on to. And we saw it on that play, didn't we, deal maker? Sure did. Uh, just uh, unfortunately, Yellville wasn't able to recover that one. But uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting tonight with the uh, the field being wet, and then like I said, with all this humidity that we have. Now we do got a bit of a cooler breeze starting to move in, so I think that'll help out these players. Of course, we've been watching the weather. It was uh, earlier today. It was. We had lightning bolts all over for early this evening. Luckily, it looks like it's moved back a couple hours so we can get this game in. Newmeyer throw up the middle at a man. Pass a little bit high. Flag on the play. Is a lot of laundry here on the field early tonight. Holding the call against Bigelow. It's like the holding is going to be against Bigelow. Ten yard penalty. So ten yard penalty going to make it. Going to make it second and twenty seven. As the Panther defense seeing if they can get a stop here. Of course, we mentioned earlier the Panther defense has really been playing well so far this year. The one game that we did with them, first game of the season, they only gave up 13 points. Of course, this Bigelow has been a pretty high-powered offense, especially in their last few games. They got man in motion. Newmeyer is keeping it. He's looking to throw it down the field. Pass up in the air. He's got a man. Pass is complete. Beautiful catch by Alexander, number one, on a second and 27. Alexander, Alexander takes it into the red zone. So now first and goal for Bigelow at the six yard line on a second and 27. Great play by Alexander. It was good coverage by Yellville. Just a perfectly placed pass and catch. And we got another flag on the field. Timeout. Or I'm sorry, we actually got a timeout from Bigelow. First timeout for Bigelow. So let's uh, let's take a few of our sponsors while we step away for a minute. Uh, Two oh nine left here in the first quarter. It is Bigelow six, Yellville Summit nothing right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Of course, we couldn't do this without our sponsors, such as Diatley Dental Care. Great smiles start with Urban and Christina Diatley in Mountain Home. Check them out. Also, Marion County Farm Bureau, Joey Sample. Give them a call. Don't overpay for insurance in 2022. Make sure that you're paying the right price. Give them a holler. Joey Sample. Also, Letty's Fine Mexican Dining. Stop by and see Domi. Tell her Domi TLSN sent me. Of course, Letty's award-winning fine Mexican dining. Oh, Ozark Fireplace. It's starting to get cold outside. Make sure your fireplace is ready for the winter. Give Jeremy Heinrichs a call. He's a certified chimney sweep. He'll make sure that you're all set. Also, Shane Soltz, home, auto, health, and life. Give Shane a call at Marion County Farm Bureau for all your insurance needs. And Sonic in Flippin' in Gasville. I think we're, we're going to have to probably stop at the Sonic and Flippin' after the game tonight and get something to eat. As Joey and I, we waited too long to get our chicken. Uh, we had a plan on getting some fried chicken, and we missed out on it as Alexander takes it in. Unfortunately, the defense wide open for Alexander to take it down the middle. Touchdown, Bigelow. And Bigelow jumps out 12 to nothing here in the first quarter. So the uh, Alexander, I, I assume they're brothers, uh, the two Alexanders for Bigelow, both huge plays here in this first half. Definitely making it happen. Looks like they're going to go for the two-point conversion. Newmeyer keeps it. 
And he walks into the end zone for the two-point conversion. So Newmeyer with the two-point conversion. Right now it's Bigelow, 14, Yellville, nothing. Here with 2.04 left in the first quarter. And uh, we'll run some sponsor ads, and we will be right back here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. All right, McVeigh and Robinson back to receive for the Panthers as Bigelow gets ready to kick off. Two possessions, two touchdowns for Bigelow. Now Yellville seeing this, seeing if they could get something started on this possession. McVeigh with the catch, cuts back. Nice play by McVeigh, trying to get to the outside. Lucas McVeigh now the return. So McVeigh on the return. McVeigh's had some good runs on his uh, kickoffs tonight. Of course, first one took it to the house, called back because of a penalty. But now the Panther offense. In to get something going. 154 here in the first quarter. Again, it's Hal that's going to be underneath center. He's got three in the backfield. One receiver to the right. Again, quick handoff up the middle. By Kiter. Looks like maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. As we'll say, maybe a gain of a yard on the play, so they're going to be second and nine. And now ball on the 39. Out, Summit. And looks like uh, Yellville didn't like the uh, look on the defense, so timeout by Yellville Summit. First time out, both teams uh, with two left here in the first half. As Joey, we're so happy to have all these fans tuning in here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. If it's your uh, first time that you've ever tuned in to TLSN, they really need to follow us, don't they, Joey? That's right. Follow the Twin Lakes Sports Network right here on Facebook. Also, check out our YouTube page. Dave's done a lot of work over there. Moving on. Uh, previous games we've done through the years uh they're all there for you to see so go check out our youtube channel and uh, like and share yeah subscribe to our youtube channel we do share all the games usually they go up about a week after on our youtube page but we got games going back to 2018 for uh yellville flipping and cotter be sure to check them out uh subscribe to our youtube page and if you haven't done it yet uh follow our facebook page uh, that way, whenever we go live, you get noticed. Hey, we're going live. A lot of great sports action. This is our second game, doubleheader week. One of the few weeks this year we're going to have uh, two games in the same week. But uh, we had volleyball the other night. And now, of course, tonight, back in Yellville again for football. Hal looking to throw. He's scrambling. Bigelow just all over him in the backfield. Ball comes loose. Fumble on the play, recovered by Bigelow. Fumble on the play, recovered by Bigelow. As it looks like it's number 20, Terrell makes the recovery. So it's going to be first and 10 for Bigelow. Right now, one minute and one second left here in the first half. Bigelow, or in the first quarter. 
And it's been a good first quarter offensively for Bigelow. Newmeyer getting out of the shotgun. He's looking to throw it. Deep pass. He's got a man off his fingertips. Newmeyer's pass incomplete. Intended for Brant Tipton. It was intended for Tipton. Tipton got past the defense. Nice throw just off the fingertips. That was going for six. So Yelville gets a break with the incomplete pass. Yelville needing a stop right here. Go again out of the shotgun. Nice handoff. Nice little move to the outside. Beautiful cutback. As uh, Santiago, going to be another first down for Bigelow. Robinson makes the tackle. Probably saved a touchdown on that play as well. First and 10, Bigelow, the 18-yard line. So it's going to be first and 10, Bigelow. Clock running now down to about 30 seconds. Penalty before the snap. All right. And quick update, it looks like right now. Offsides against Yellow Summit. Looks like it's going to be offside against Yellow Summit. Uh, right now, Greenwood leading Mountain Home Bombers. They're in the second quarter. Right now, it's Greenwood 10, the Mountain Home Bombers 7. It'll be first and five at the 13-yard line. So it's actually going to be a first and five with the penalty. Again, running out of the shotgun. He's got Santiago in the backfield with him. Nice play and almost gets the interception. Myers pass incomplete. Nice defensive play by number 64. That's Smith. That is the end of the first quarter. Almost had the interception. So that's going to be the end of the first quarter. So right now it's going to be a second and five when we come back in the second quarter. It's Bigelow 14, Yellville nothing right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Of course, let's take a few more of our sponsors because, uh, of course, we can bring this coverage without them, such as Sims Family Auctions, specializing in all types of auctions. Check them out on Facebook, Sims Family Auctions. Also, Laugh and Learn Academy, Eric and Toby Norberg, they got a special running right now. New signups for Laugh and Learn Academy. You get a 50% discount if you mention that you saw this on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Also, Ooh La La Boutique and Gifts in Yellville. Great place to go for Panther swag. Check them out, Yellville, Arkansas. And Premier Auto Interiors. Contact Phil Hudnell today, 321-7445. And Shark Creek Graphics. T-shirts, stickers, hats, banners, hoodies, license plates, Anything you need for advertising, Shark Creek Graphics will have you covered. And State Farm, Ashley Havens, located in Mountain Home, 492-2450, and also locations in Flippin'. Vance Vision, see them today for all your vision needs. And Clay Maxey Chevrolet Cadillac, Right here in, well, I should say, in the Twin Lakes area, located in Mountain Home, Arkansas. See him today, Clay Maxey Chevrolet. Um, Joey doing a tremendous job working the camera and talking at the same time. So that's that's tough. Now Bigelow does the handoff. That's number seven. That's Brown. Good penetration by the Panther defense. Gets the stop. Aaron Robinson. Looks like that's Robinson. The for the so that's going to force a third, third down. down, third down and four. So third and four. The 11 yard line. <laughs> so 
So the Panthers, if they can claw their way back in this game, really need a stop here. We've still got a long way to go just in the start here of the second quarter. Bigelow, they hike it straight to the running back who takes it in, walks it in. That's number seven, Brown. Touchdown, Bigelow from number seven, Cleveland Brown. As touchdown for Bigelow. As now Bigelow's lead extends to 20 to nothing. And the extra point attempt coming. Bigelow here early, doing it in the air and on the ground. And here's the extra point attempt. It's up, and it is good. Extra point is good. So Bigelow now jumps up 21 to nothing here in the second quarter. Still got a long way to go, though, as uh, Doris Delph online says, Go Panthers. Online's pretty quiet tonight. Not a lot of comments on there. And then we got Ronnie Inlow. So those fans tuning in, you know, th th it could be too. They're not used to watching here on Facebook. So this is an interactive broadcast. So there's a player you want us to give a shout out or if you want to just say, hey, go Panthers on there. Tonight it could be uh, two different Panthers that they're cheering for. Speaking as... off of Bigelow, number 74, Hayden Price. As Price going to kick off, so McVeigh back. McVeigh and Robinson back to receive. It's Bigelow trying to get to 5-0 and on the year. Line drive kick. McVeigh loses the handle, picks it up. Slips on the field, as uh, Joey mentioned earlier. Kind of a slick field tonight. Of course, uh, rain, uh, but that uh, right before the game, a lot of rain, but of course, they did a good job. They always do a great job here on the field here in Yellville. Uh, Coach Jones and the Yellville group over here always do a tremendous job. And now 11 minutes, 8 seconds to go, according to our Shark Creek graphic clock here in the second quarter. We're sports season kicking up here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. We got only a couple weeks away from district as that's a quarterback keeper as Howe keeps it. And Howe looks like he picks up a couple yards. Tackle is made by Terrell. And so about a yard, so about second and nine for Yellville. Ball right now on the 28-yard line. See, we got Ashley Woodell on there. She's saying, go Panthers. So, of course, I gave Ashley Woodell some grief the other night. You know, I saw her at the volleyball game. And so, apparently, apparently we're still friends, Woodell, right? How working out of the shotgun. Three in the backfield. Quick handoff. Landon Kyder on the carry. As Kyder maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and nine. Keenan Hobbs in on the tackle. No gain brings up third down and nine at the 28. So right now third and nine ball on the 28 yard line, Yellville. Of course, this is their second home game of the year. Uh, they've got four games in the next six weeks here at Yellville. Home games. As Howe throws it up. He's got a man. As pass is incomplete. Good defensive play there by Bigelow. Pass intended for McVay. So that's going to be now fourth and nine. Fourth and nine at the 28-yard line. So it looks like the punt team coming on for Yellville. Back to receive is going to be number seven, Brown. 
All right, so Waddell said, she says she only has love for me. So, oh, man, that that just makes me so happy. Waddell would be happy. I'm wearing a Panther shirt tonight. So, we'll have to take a picture of this earlier because, you know, Cotter gave us a real nice, some real nice swag. Yellville hooked us up, too. So, the pun is away. Nice kick. Takes a Yellville bounce out of bounds. So, looks like it goes out at about the 40-yard line. So going to be first and 10 Bigelow ball at the 40 yard line 919 left here in the second quarter. Of course, we had quite a matchup the other night. It was Yellville Summit versus Cotter volleyball as a uh, Yellville pulled up the big upset with the sweep and now the two ways just wide open. As there's a log jam up at the top between Cotter, Flip, or Flippin, and Quitman as they're coming down to the final week of the regular season. Then district tournament, which we're going to be covering some district tournament games right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Nice flip to the outside. Alexander's got some room. Cuts back. Nice tackle by number 19, Geyer. As it uh, looks like Bigelow changing up their offense a little bit. Now they have number seven, Brown. As Alexander's showing, he's got some speed to the outside. He's tough to tough to stop out there. Quarterback keeper. Cuts to the outside, gets around the corner, explosive move. Nice cutback. And he's taken down by multiple Panthers. But Brown. Caden Geyer and Hunter Smith make the tackle for the Panthers. It'll be first and 10 Bigelow at the 13 yard line. Right now a change in offense. They've uh, pulled out a Newmeyer quarterback and now they have Brown, uh, more of a running offense. We're now down to eight minutes, 53 seconds left. Gonna run, it looks like Brown's gonna run shotgun. He's got Alexander in the backfield. Alexander, nice cut to the inside. Good play by the Panther defense, getting their hands on him. Hunter Alexander on the carry. Holds Alexander to a short gain. Tyler Barrett. Dakota Bachman in on the tackle. Looks like it was Barrett number 52 on the tackle after a six-yard gain. So now second and four, ball on the eight-yard line. Down eight, eight minutes, two seconds. Brown shotgun, he throws it, the lefty. Brown pass complete to number 11, Keenan Hobbs. Pass complete to Hobbs, but good defensive play there by the Panthers. Forcing him out of bounds. It's gonna force now a third down. Braden McCullough and Aaron Robinson make the tackle. Loss of a yard. And gonna be a loss of a yard, so good defensive play by the Panthers. Third and five, ball on the nine. Also, uh, our update right now, other games going on this evening. Greenwood now up 24-7 to over Mountain Home. Quick snap up the middle. Nice play by Yellville in the backfield. Ethan Brown on the carry. Number 33, that's Murphy. Christian Murphy makes the tackle for the Panthers. Good play by Murphy. Now it's going to force a fourth down. Two-yard gain. It's Two, down and three. It's going to be a fourth and three. Ball on the seven-yard line. Bigelow not want any field goals. They're going for it. Again, out of the shotgun with Brown. Timeout, Bigelow. That's their Looks like timeout for Bigelow. That's going to be their second charge timeout.
Now 7.02 left, second quarter right now. Bigelow 21, Yellville nothing. Still got a long way to go here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Let's thank a few more of our sponsors, such as Vance Vision Clinic, Bobby Sue's in Mount Home, award-winning breakfast with Bobby Sue. Stop by and see Steve today. Also, Genuine Care Pharmacy. Stop and see Clint for all your pharmace pharmaceutical needs. Try saying that five times fast. In Gasville, Genuine Care Pharmacy. Also, White River Materials. If you're building something, give White River Materials a call. Don't go with the rest. Go with the best. White River Materials. Also, Cotter Rock College. You can talk about this one, Joey. That's right. Check them out. Uh, VRBO.com, 955-491. Or Facebook, for that matter. And Arvis Bank. Help you with all your lending needs. I just finished up a mortgage with them. Thanks, Arvis Bank. So yeah, great rates right now. Actually, I refinanced mine too. So. <laughs> great time for refinancing. Great time for uh, loans. Uh, check out RVS Bank. Appreciate all these being a sponsor here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Now, Panther Pride looks like uh, Billy Robinson says go number three. So the Panther fans here, fourth and three, needing to stop. The crowd coming to their feet. Handoff up the middle. Breaks the tackle. Looks like Santiago's going to get the first down. Got a good push on the offensive line. Now first and goal. Ball at the two-yard line. But the Panthers still playing hard here. And up, up the middle. And looks like Santiago got in, so touchdown, Bigelow. Number nine, Josiah Santiago on the carry. As Santiago gets the touchdown, now Bigelow extends her lead to 27 to nothing here on the TLSN. Now on to kick the extra point. Going to be number 74, it's Price. Extra point attempt. It is good. No flag on the play. So Bigelow now extends it to 28 to nothing. And of course, yeah, White River Materials sponsor there, the Twin Lake Sports Network. We appreciate them. And then one of our sponsors down there all the way at the end, uh, Clay Maxey right there. Of course, they're a sponsor here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network supporting the Panthers. Tell us a little bit about Clay Maxey, Joey. One of the, uh, in my opinion, one of the best places to, that you can buy a car in the Twin Lakes area. Uh, it's because I'm uh, one of the uh, team members at Clay Maxey Chevrolet. So come see us uh, in Mountain Home. Uh, give us a call at 425-6262. You can find us on Facebook. But like I said, it's always better if you just come and visit us at Clay Maxey Chevrolet in Mountain Home. All right, 645 here in the second quarter. Bigelow with four touchdowns here in the first half. Yellville trying to get something going on offense. McVeigh gets it back, runs it up the middle. McVeigh fighting hard, gets it ahead to about the 32-yard line. Right now it's going to be first and 10. Mac Jones in on the tackle for Bigelow. First and 10 Panthers at the 32-yard line. So first and 10 Panthers, ball on the 32-yard line. And now Hal working under center, got Keemer in motion. Tries a quick handoff up the middle, nowhere to go there. As that's Kyder stopped at the line. Looks like, looks like maybe got about a yard. So gonna be, se gonna be second and nine. Ball down the 33 yard line.
And now Hal gets the quick handoff. Nice cut to the outside. Keemer's got a little room. Cut back and gets it to about the 46-yard line. First down, Yellville. As flags after the play. As the refs right now discussing it. Looks like it's probably going to be a personal foul penalty. Personal foul against Bigelow. So personal foul against Bigelow. 15 yard penalty. As Yellville now marching down the field. See if they can slow down some of that Bigelow momentum. Right now, a touchdown right now would be great for Yellville. Now ball down to the 39-yard line. It's going to be first and 10. Three in the backfield. Hal under center. He's got one receiver. Again, Kider, hard run. Maybe gets a yard. Looks like the tackle on the play was Hobbs, number 11 for Bigelow. So now they're going to be second and nine ball in the 38. Right now, clock running. We go under five minutes. How? Second and nine. Again, quick handoff up the middle. Keemer. Fights hard. Maybe gets about, maybe gets two yards. So we'll say third down and seven. Santiago makes the tackle. So now ball at the 37-yard line. Actually, we'll say it's more... Uh, Third and eight, we'll get that changed. My sight's not very good from up here, so. I know what you need to do. Go to Vance Vision today. Schedule your appointment. Yeah, actually, I, I, I'm supposed to. I've been, probably should have seen him a year ago. <laughs> Vance Vision, of course, appreciate him being a sponsor right now. Third and eight, so big down here for Yellville. Hal, again, three in the backfield. One to the right. Another handoff up the middle is Keemer. Cuts back. As tackle on the play by Phillips, so it's going to be fourth and six. And now down 28 to nothing. Looks like Yellville is going to take a shot with it. We're story of the first half, just the uh, offensive explosion by Bigelow. As Yellville trying to see if they can get a little bit of momentum back here. And in motion. Pass is intercepted by Hal. By number eight. Looks like that's Bennett Johnson with the interception. So Kyder saves the run back. So now Bigelow going to get the ball back first and 10. Okay, offensively, looks like they still got Brown in at quarterback. He's looking to throw at the lefty. Pass intended for Alexander. Too high, incomplete. Carter Alexander, the intended receiver. So Alexander, the intended receiver. Pass incomplete. 
going to be second and 10 from the 45. Working out of the shotgun. Quarterback keeper, nice cut back to the outside. He's dancing. Good pursuit by Yelville. Nifty run there by number seven, Brown. A lot of work there, Joey, for no game, but some nifty moves by Brown, but good uh, the defense there. And, of course, our good friends, Ooh La La, Michael Mitchell, stop by and see her. They got some sweet Panther swag in there. That'd be great for you to wear to any of the Panther athletic events that we cover. Now, again, out of the shotgun. Quarterback keeper throws against the body. Nice play by, uh, nice pass by Brown, but that hit Johnson right in the numbers. He missed the catch, but... We got a penalty marker on the play. Let's see what the call is. But throwing against his body, he managed to still get the pass in there. But ultimately incomplete. So right now, third and 10. Waiting to see what the call is as the refs. Talking it out. Hey, you had mentioned us earlier about the Yellville swag. What about, uh, there's a new sponsor we have that's creating some pretty cool stuff, Altastic Creations. Where can they go and find uh, some Yellville swag there, Dave? Well, actually, we put a post of on our Facebook page. We got a new sponsor, Altastic Creations by Bethany. Uh, you can go on our page. Uh, she, uh, she, Bethany's autistic, and she's always wanted a jewelry business, and she's kind of made her own jewelry business, Altastic Creations by Bethany, and she made some Yellville Summit jewelry. Uh, that you can buy in there. 10% of all of her sales goes to Autism Speaks, Autism Research. So uh, be sure to check that out. And actually, I'll go ahead and share. I'll, I'll go ahead and share a couple pictures on there of Autistic Creations. Of course, that's some of the jewelry that she has there. Uh, and you can just go to our page under the uh, post that we did. I believe she said it ranged about 10 to 15 dollars based on the different pieces. So, or if you want to be a part of our a private page, you, there's a lot of different jewelry that's shared. But check it out, Autistic Creations by Bethany. She, and what Bethany's told me, she's not autistic. She is autastic. That's right, autastic. And check out these fantastic creations by Bethany right here. I say autism doesn't slow her down any. Uh, beautiful girl, uh, very smart, and uh, as you can see, extremely creative. So very talented. Uh, thank you, Bethany, for being a sponsor of the Twin Lake Sports Network. Uh, you guys go over there and uh, check her out at All T Tastic Creations by Bethany. Of course, we appreciate each and every one of our sponsors. It allows us to bring all these different games, whether it's football, volleyball, basketball. I mean, we'll be doing basketball. We'll, we'll be in the gym in a month from now. So as uh, high school sports season kicking in gear, we're at the halfway point of the football season. Again, the lefty Brown gets it. Pass is complete. Flag on the play. From Brown to Santiago. So let's see what the penalty is on the play. As Norberg, yeah, right now we're getting the smoke from the grill. The, you know, So we're getting a little hungry up here as... Is right now the uh, Panther group. You know, Joey's talking about some goodness. You're getting hungry, aren't you? I am. That you, you can see the, uh, the, the the smoke from the barbecue grill, and it's blowing right at us. And right over there is where the uh, the goodness is, right at the uh, concession stand. So if you're here, uh, remember to go over there and get you a good burger. Man, they smell so good. Well, speaking of, uh, you know, something that we're hungry for. The Panther defense hungry for a stop, and they get one right there. So now it's going to be first and 10, 2.33 to go. Yellville seeing if we can punch one in here and try to get a little momentum going into the second half. Looks like going with a different formation. Two in the backfield. Still got Hal under center. Another handoff. Nice cutback by Keemer. 
Battles ahead. Good run by Keemer. Looks like it's going to be about a five-yard gain with the clock running here. As, uh, of course, smoke covering the field. That's actually from the grill over there. Uh, we're, we're not having a fire. There's not fog moving in. There's just some good food being cooked here in Yellville. They always have great food. Right now, clock running, though, under two minutes. So, Yellville's going to have to move. Ball's on the 47-yard line, second and five. Yellville gets the defensive stop. Now trying to see if they can get some positive offense going, but Hal is wrapped up. Looks like it's Hobbs with the tackle. He gets the sack. So, that, so, so now it's going to be third down and eight. Ball back to the 50-yard line. Clock with 125 to go. Right now online, looks like we got Doris Dell. She says, way to go, Bigelow Panthers. Kind of quiet with the comments tonight. Not a lot. Hey, guys, let's, you know, give us a shout-out. Let's give some players some shout-outs. Let, let's know who you're going to cheer for tonight, who you're watching for. Third down, quick flip to the outside. Keemer, unfortunately, runs into his own player. Maybe picks up a yard. So, that, so that's going to make it fourth and seven. I'm sure it's going to be fourth and nine. Ball on the 49 yard line. 30 seconds to go. Play clock down to 25 seconds. So, Yelvo looking like they're just going to try to take some type of shot here. Five second difference on the play clock. They tried the sweep, and Bigelow's all over that. They get the stop. There are now five seconds to go. Bigelow's going to get the ball back and might have a chance to take a shot here. So time left for one more play for Bigelow. So they're either going to kneel and go in, or it looks like they're probably going to take a shot for the end zone. Okay, working out of the shotgun. A little trickery. Panthers trying to wrap him up. He gets out of bounds, so that's going to be the final play. That was uh, Johnson with the run. As we get ready to go to halftime, his first half in all Bigelow. Right now, Bigelow 28, Yellville nothing here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. We're gonna stop. Uh, we're gonna step away for about 15 minutes, and we're gonna run some sponsor ads, and we will be right back here soon here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. And we have a special induction here. Coach Calvin Mallett being inducted to the Yellville Summit Hall of Fame. That's uh, Steve Jones. Calvin Mallett was hired here as the head coach for, in the fall of, for the fall of the 1999 season. In that first season, Coach Mallett went 6-4. and four. He Followed that with an 8-2 season in 1991. These first two seasons set the tone for the next 23 years in which Coach Mallett would win over 100 games. Make over a dozen playoff appearances. As conference runner-up once, conference co-champs twice, and won an outright conference title in 2002. 
Tonight, Coach Mallett is accompanied by his wife, Stephanie, along with his family and friends. He's being presented with this award by Coach Jones. Big hand for Coach Calvin Mallett. Our latest induction into the Yellow Center Panther Athletics Hall of Fame. There is the latest induction into the Yellowville Summit Panther Hall of Fame. Head coach, former head coach Calvin Mallett. Of course, they were naming all of his accolades. Longtime coach here at Yellowville. So congratulations, Coach Calvin Mallett. Of course, today is uh, the Hall of Fame game. So congratulations. Of course, that's uh, athletic director Steve Jones. Always does a tremendous job over here at Yellowville. So congratulations, Coach Calvin Mallett. Stadium with the sound of Panther Pride, your 2021-2022 Panther Marching Band. All right, here comes the Panther Marching Band, a little uh, halftime performance that we're going to tune in on. The band is under the field direction of sophomore drum major Sydney Murphy. Tonight, the band presents the first two songs from this year's halftime show, featuring tunes from the 1960s. This strange love hit from 1965 features senior flag soloist Katrina Kerwood. Here's I Want Candy. Featuring senior saxophone soloist Christian Murphy, senior flag soloist Cassidy Dozier, and senior majorette soloist Ellie Allen and J.C. Devonport, here is James Brown's 1964 hit, I Got You. Thank you. 
Panther fans on your feet. Sing along as the band marches off the field to the YSHS drum cadence and performs the Yellow Summit fight song.
All right, guys, we're getting ready to go back to the second half. And if you can note, I don't know if you can see it, but everyone's running here in Yellville as the rain is coming down. Of course, we had a 40% chance of rain. It looks like that 40% has come and is coming down hard. So we're going to try to do what we can to get everything dry. So hopefully this shouldn't last too long, Dealmaker. So guys, we're going to mute it. We're trying to uh, get our cameras as we got a huge rainstorm that's hit here. Luckily, we got a nice tent, so we'll move things around real quick. Well, guys, we had a 40% chance of rain. Looks like that 40% has come through as it is pouring. As uh, Joey's scrambling around. I hope they didn't lock that gate, then locked us up here. <laughs> As uh, rain, we're having fun here in Yellville, but we're trying to keep everything dry, guys. So uh, we're going to mute the mics for a minute. And as a big rainstorm has come in, we'll be right back.
All right, welcome to Rain Apocalypse 2021 here in Yellville. As we had a huge rainstorm that has just blown in. And uh, I know you can't really see it in the uh, camera angle real well, but it is it is pouring. So we're doing our best. We're actually on top of the press box. We got a 10 over us. Unfortunately, our 10 has some leaks. So hopefully we can finish the game tonight. We don't want our equipment to get ruined. So we'll just have to kind of judge it. And we are off second half. Bigelow, first play, number eight. Johnson That's on Johnson on the return. As a thought we were going to get lucky on the uh, rain, but apparently we have not. But uh, we'll try to do our best to cover this uh, second half as I've never seen so many people move so quick as the bleachers just cleared out. There's a few diehard fans down there with uh, that came prepared. There's a handoff by Bigelow up the middle. Oh, where's it drop? Oh. River Aldridge. In on the stop for the Panthers. Gain of seven. It's going to be second down and three. Is it's going to be second down and three? So now Bigelow, of course, uh, good first half, but now. With the rain, probably just going to run run the ball, I would think, almost every down. Short run. Looks like it's going to be just short. It's going to fourth a third down, but there's a penalty marker. All right, Benita Hanford said it won't last long. She lives south of Yellville, and it lasted about 10 minutes. So, so Joey, all we got to do is make it the next 10 minutes. Holding against the Panthers. It's like it's going to be holding against the Panthers. So, first down in 10. See, some people that watch, they think we're in the press box, and you know, when it's warm and nice, we're actually on top of the press box so we can get the best angle. Uh, unfortunately, filming from the press box, you really can't see the whole field, so that's why we do it up here. Penalty will mark the ball at the 43-yard line. So penalty's going to take the ball to the 43-yard line, but this is why I'm really glad that we had a, a tent. We did bring a tent with us, so. Right now, Bigelow. First and 10, ball on the 43, working out the shotgun. And before the snap, false start against Bigelow. laundry everywhere. It's going to be false start against Bigelow, so five-yard penalty. Going to make it first and 15. There's a Joey fast moving, getting all of our equipment that was out. In the rain, uh, he managed to get it to our, we got one little tiny dry spot here, and he got it there. So at the shotgun handoff, number nine takes it through, gets back to about the original line of scrimmage. That's Santiago on the carry. That's Santiago on the carry. So going to be second and about 10. Four yards in, it's going to be second down and 11. Or we could call it 11. Ball on the 44-yard line. Of course, Joey, your son was here with us somewhere, so he's probably somewhere getting soaked. And his shotgun, it's a keeper. Breaks down the middle, going to take it all the way for the touchdown. Brown takes it 44 yards. Touchdown for Bigelow. And now extends it to 34 to nothing here in the third quarter. Well, Vicki Park, she was saying, I hope the rain makes it to midway. So 
We'll have to see what happens with that. Yeah, of course, the camera can't really pick. It's still got a pretty torrential rain coming down right now. You'll see drops drop every once in a while off of our 10 as the extra point is up, and it is good. So Price hits the extra point. Bigelow now extends their lead to 35 to nothing. Here in the third quarter here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Right now, 10.31 to go here in the third, so kickoff coming. Of course, we want to thank our sponsors like Shark Creek Graphics, T-shirts, stickers, hat, banners, hoodies, and more. Check them out in Gasville. Also, Ashley Havens State Farm. Check her out, www.ashleywhavens.com. Location in Flippin and also in Mountain Home. Also, Vance Vision Clinic. For complete eye care, give Dr. Dustin Vance a call, doctor of optometry. Check out his beautiful location in Gasville and Bobby Sue's Restaurant. Great place to go for food in Mountain Home. Stop by and see Steve. As here's the kickoff. Kimer, er, McVeigh's got it, takes it. Good run by McVeigh. Good run by McVeigh there. Almost gets it back to the 50-yard line. So good field position for Yellville as it's Page with the tackle. Looks like uh, Doris, Del uh, Doris Delve joining us online. Says, yay, Bigelow, go Brown. As here comes the Panther offense. Of course, they got Howell at quarterback. He's got three in the backfield. Same formation they've been running pretty much all evening. Hand off to Keemer. Nowhere to go. All over in the backfield. Keemer loses a couple. Hunter Alexander, Keenan Hobbs make the tackle. So we'll say second and 12. Actually, more like second and 11. Ball on the 46. Of course, right now we're lucky it's only raining. Any lightning, though, we will be going off the air and closing up very quickly since we are on the top of a super tall structure. As Hal, three in the backfield. It's going to be difficult to run or throw in the second half here. As Kider running hard. Tackle made by number 20, Katie Terrell. Good tackle by number 20, Terrell on Bigelow. So now a third down and nine. Ball on the 48. Well, the monsoon's starting to slow down just a little bit. Right now, third and nine. Hal trying to get to the outside. Nowhere to go. And a late hit Robert Howell on the carry. by Hal, but no call on the play. Looks like uh, Hal loses probably eight yards. So going to be now a fourth well, down. Fourth down and so fourth and 16. So down 35 nothing right now, 7.50 to go. So, Yellville looks like they're going to go for it. Of course, Yellville started off the game, first kick of the game, took it all the way for a touchdown that was negated. And since then, just has kind of struggled offensively as it looks like, looks like McVeigh is going to kick it. No, they go ahead and try to run the fake on fourth and 16 and maybe gets four yards. So, going to be a turnover on downs. Christian Murphy, Christian Murphy on the carry. To Bigelow. So, now Bigelow going to take possession with 7.06 to go. 
10 at the 45 yard line. So ball now on the 45. We do have to say every game we've done at Yellville has been really interesting. We've had it where we were sweating to death, where we were so smelly up here. Everyone, we kind of repulsed everyone because it was so hot. And then we've had rain. We had, we've out froze <laughs> at the last game last season. So always a lot of fun, but we love doing it. And these boys out here, they love playing football because they're the Yellville Panthers right now. They're down 35 nothing, but they're still playing hard, Joey. That's right. <laughs> Like you're saying, it's always been fun out here and interesting. Like last year, we were out here, and uh, I'll never forget when that skunk that was near here sprayed, and uh, oh my, it was uh, hard to stay up here. Uh, I think we kind of started choking a little bit on air. Um, but uh, yeah, it's always uh, good fun to come out here to Yellville. Uh, great people out here, always friendly, helpful, um, very supportive of the Twin Lake Sports Network. Uh, a lot of our sponsors are located right here in Yellville. And uh, we appreciate each and every one of them. And we appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching tonight with us right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Nice pursuit there by Yellville. That's uh, looks like that was number 22 Aldridge makes the tackle. So good play. Nice, nice hustle. No gain. So third and 10 ball down to 45. So the Panthers still... Still playing hard. It looks like the majority of the starters have come out for Bigelow. And the Panthers, looks like they've subbed in a lot of different people. So it's going to be a good opportunity for a lot of people to get a chance to play now. And also, I got to throw another shout out. Ashley Waddell, you know, she gave did a screenshot on Facebook. Uh, looked pretty good on that, watching on the big screen. So remember, if you're watching this, on, you don't have to watch this on your phone. You can tie it to your TV and then watch on the big screen is the run up the middle on third down. Wilds, on the Wilds gonna be short, so now it's gonna be fourth down. Christian Murphy makes a tackle. It's fourth down and eight. So forty-three. Fourth and eight. Now ball on the forty-three. So Bigelow looks like they're gonna go ahead and punt it. And it looks like this is number sixty-eight. Phillips gonna be in the punt for the first time. Now, wouldn't this be a great time for Yellville if the ball slick? Get the snap, loose snap, pick it up, take it to the house. Oh, thought I talked it into happening, but uh, Phillips makes a good play. Long kick, and that's going to be downed at about the seven-yard line. So, nice kick there. Penalty marker on the play. Let's see what the call is. Quick, I'm going to see if we can get an update on the uh, Mountain Home Bomber game, one of the other games happening this evening. Looks like the penalty is going to be against Bigelow, so that's going to help Yellville out. So it looks like it's actually going to be a kick again. Five yard penalty, it'll be fourth and 13. So with the five yard penalty, going to be fourth and 13. Right now, a quick update. Mountain Home Bombers right now down 24 to 7 versus Greenwood. So the Bombers going to need to rally. Same as Yellville, seeing if they can uh, get the ball back here and get something positive to happen on offense. And the kick is down. Another good Ball kick. Down Ball down at the 11 yard line. So yeah, Greenwood up 24 to seven. I might maybe I said that wrong. Vicky Parks, uh, she, I might have said that backwards. I was trying to, I was trying to get all the water off my phone. So, <laughs> so appreciate that, Vicky. But yeah, Greenwood right now up 24 to seven in the third quarter. Now 
as Yelville going to get the ball first and 10. Of course, with the uh, score, going to probably be a running clock here in the fourth. So it uh, should be a fast-moving fourth quarter. But Yellow trying to see if they can get something positive going on offense. They've had a couple bright spots, but unfortunately, the Greenwood, or I'm sorry, the uh, Bigelow defense stopped them on a couple fourth down plays. Nice run to the outside. Kider with the run. And that looks like that's going to be a Yellville Panther first down. So nice run. And uh, a lot of times when the game's 35 to nothing, you're going in the fourth quarter, Joey, it's one of those things where you want to build some momentum, get some things, work on uh, your offense, see if you can get in a couple touchdowns here to build some momentum to go into next week's game. Speaking of next week, where's Yellville going to be? And it's going to be another game here. We're going to have to look at that. <laughs> and now under a minute to go is uh, Hal with the keeper. Robert Howell on the carry. And Hal is a uh, horse collared, so that's going to be a penalty on the play. Tackle is made by Darling Shaw. Of course, Joey, you would ask me the football schedule. and I, Like the one device I don't have our schedule on is what I have with me, but. Now it's going to be a 15-yard penalty, so going to be first and ten on the Panthers as the ball as the uh, clock counts down right now to ten seconds, and more than likely that will be the end of the third quarter. I don't know if the Panthers are going to be able to get it off. They huddle up, try to get it off quick. Two, one, they get it off just in time. Kyder gets a little room to the outside, trying to get around the corner. Nice move, takes it inside and goes out of bounds at the 33 yard line. Nice run by Kyder. And that's gonna finish up the fourth quarter. I mean, the third quarter, we go to the fourth. Yellville though, getting a little momentum here on offense. But right now, Bigelow in control, 35 to nothing. As we did have a flag on the play. Personal foul against Bigelow. A personal foul to tack on to that. So now Yellville going to have good field position to start the fourth. Fifteen yard penalty added on to the end of the run. So fifteen yard penalty added to the end of the run. So they're going to have good field position here. As Yellville seeing if they can try to finish with something positive. As we get ready to go into the fourth. So real quick, let's thank a few of our sponsors uh, that allow us to be able to come out and cover these games. Such as Bobby Sue's Restaurant, award-winning breakfast in Mountain Home, Genuine Care Pharmacy, stop by and see Clint, Genuine Care Pharmacy, see him for all your pharmace pharmaceutical needs. I butchered that a couple times tonight. Also, White River Materials. Hey, if you got a big project, construction project, give White River Materials a call. And Cotter Rock Cottage, VRBO, 955-491, 955-491. Check them out on Facebook, Cotter Rock Cottage. If you got someone coming to the area, don't have them stay in a hotel. Have them stay at Cotter Rock Cottage. Well, Joey asked me the schedule, so now I'm pulling it up because the one device I don't have a schedule on. As uh, actually next week, we will not be in Yellowville next week. Uh, Yellowville will be at Quitman on the 8th. But we will, we do have a volleyball game this week. It's going to be Flippin versus Cotter. They're going to be at Cotter. That should be quite a matchup in the 2A conference. Right now, the players just screaming, saying, get a ball out here. We're ready to play, guys. Of course, uh, the refs doing what they can to try to keep the balls dry for the players. As the rain looks like it's finally uh, slowed down.
still a pretty decent crowd. A lot of them had to sprint for a little bit and go get something, but they've come back now that it's done rain and handoff. Keemer runs hard, gets a, picks up a couple yards on the carry. It's like, it's like five yard gain on the play. So that's gonna be a second down and five. And now clock, of course, gonna be running continuously here in the fourth because of the score. Hunter takes it ahead. Looks like it's going to be close to a first down. Looks like he's going to be about a yard short, so it's going to be a third and one. Max Jones in on the tackle. Looks like it's third down and one. Jones in on the tackle. The 12 yard line. Now ball on the 12 yard line. So third and one, you're thinking, you know, it's going to be two tries right here. You know, down 35 to nothing, they're going to take a shot as Yellville trying to get on the board. His ball is loose, but they're going to say Murphy was down. Max Jones in on the tackle again for Bigelow. But it's going to be a first down for Yellville, more importantly. So the drive is continuing. First and goal, Panthers. At the so now first and goal for the Panthers. Ball at the six yard line. Of course, Yellville putting up a gutsy effort here, playing hard till the end, seeing if they can get in a score. Howe with three in the backfield, hands it off. Keemer runs hard ahead. And it's going to be second, gets down to about the two yard line. So, going to be second and goal. As right now, update um, the Bomber game. Mountain Home Bombers getting ready to go to the fourth. Right now, it's Greenwood 24, Mountain Home 7, and other local games in the area this evening. Of course, Mountain Home's actually on the road at Greenwood. Now, Yellville, see if they can punch one in. Kyder barrels ahead hard and gets in for the touchdown. Landon Kider gets the touchdown for Yellville. So Yellville still playing hard here in the fourth. Right now with 8.34 to go, of course, uh, clock is running. Looks like the Yellville's going to go for the two-point conversion. Howell again has three in the backfield. One receiver to the right. Quick flip. Looks like he's going to get around, and the two-point conversion, two conversion is good, good by Keemer. Nice run, and Yellville is on the board. 34-8. to eight. So, just like what we talked about there, Joey, you know, uh, in the fourth quarter, I mean, you're down a large score like this. You want to get a little momentum to build up for them to go to Quitman next week, and that was a very good drive by Yellville. That's right. I'm sure these boys did not want to go home tonight without getting on that board, and like I say, every year we come out here, we watch Yellville. They never quit. It's something we really love about watching this team. They never stop. Yeah, a lot of Panther pride right there, and and of course, uh, Toby Norberg online says, way to go, Yellville, number 32. So, uh, of course, Toby Norberg, she's one of our sponsors, uh, Laugh and Learn Academy. And like we mentioned earlier, you know, la any uh, new people going to Laugh and Learn Academy get a 50% discount, I think, on the registration fee. 
uh, if you're doing a new registration, just mention that the Twin Lakes Sports Network sent you. But, but great possession by Yellville. So now the short kick. Kick is going to go out of bounds. So going to be good field position for Greenwood with uh, 6.48 to go and counting on a wet, soggy field here in Yellville. And there's some wet, soggy fans, but I think they're a little happy after that touchdown, Joey. You know they are. Uh, anytime you get to watch your team uh, get on the board and score, uh, there's going to be some happy fans out there. But now the uh, Yellville defense. First and 10, Bigelow at the 35-yard line. It's going to be first and 10 for Bigelow at the 35-yard line. With six minutes to go. I got to say props to these fans. There's some soaked fans down there that didn't bring umbrellas because the weather said really wasn't supposed to start raining until 11. Quick handoff by Bigelow. They take it to the outside. Picks up. Jones looks like he picks up about four yards. Four on the play. Second down and six at the 39. So second down six, ball on the 39-yard line as the clock continuing to roll. Of course, the battle of the Panthers tonight. Again, another hand up. Nice move by Bigelow. Good run straight ahead with a couple cuts and a first down. As it looks like that's number 40, Wiles. Wiles on the carry. With a nice cut and play. First down for Bigelow. Tackle made by Brady McCullough. Aaron Robinson. First down, Bigelow at the 48-yard line. So now ball to the 48. Of course, Bigelow with the uh, victory tonight, going to go to 5-0 and on the season, so still undefeated. Uh, Yellville's going to drop to 1-4 and as we are hit the halfway point of the season. So still got a long way to go. Low snap, nice play by the quarterback to pick that one off for the ground. It looks like it's uh, Newmeyer's come back in the game. He was a starting quarterback, and then they switched him out for a while with Brown. As Aldrich makes the tackle. Loss of a yard. As Aldrich makes the tackle. So loss of a yard, so now we're going to be second and 11. As we wind under four minutes. And in motion, and going to be a penalty on the play. False start against Bigelow. It'll be a five-yard penalty. So going to be false start against Bigelow. So five-yard loss. It's going to make it now second and sixteen. As the clock runs down, now going to go under three minutes left. As Yelvo hoping to get they can get a stop and then see if they can get another shot to get one in the end zone here. Of course, for all those people tuning in, if you haven't done it yet, make sure that you uh, go and you follow our Facebook page, Twin Lakes Sports Network. We recently went over 3,650 followers. We couldn't do it without each and every one of you guys out there. So appreciate all you guys tuning in. As Newmire the shotgun again, a handoff Wiles. Breaks a tackle, gets to the outside, and is taken down. That's number 24, Dillard. Nice play. Dillard saves a touchdown on the play, but it's going to be a Bigelow first down. There's a the ball now down to the 38-yard line. Probably got about time for 
a couple plays here. We'll see if they run it or they might decide to go ahead and kneel and run the clock out. Of course, uh, be sure to check out our Facebook page, too. We announce all of our games before they happen, so we'll have an announcement going our next game. Uh, we'll be back here in Yellville for Yellville football back on the 15th in two weeks. As... Wiles on the carry. Wiles on the carry. Tackle made by Memphis Gibson. And Gibson gets the tackle. Nice play, Gibson riding him down. Two-yard gain, now second and eight. Down to a minute and a half. And, of course, all of our games, you can always go back on our Facebook page and rewatch them. Or you can go to our YouTube page and subscribe today. Check it out for our entire archive of games. Ball's on the ground. Wells gets it back. So it's going to make it now third and eight, under a minute. Of course, that ball, hard to hold right now. They've refs have done the best they can to keep that thing dry, but... We got an enormous amount of rain in a small period of time here in Yellville. And now 20 seconds left on the clock. This will probably be the last play of the game. So we'll see Bigelow if they decide to just, looks like they're gonna go ahead and get a playoff. Three seconds left. Ball's on the ground, Yellville. Fumble on the play. It's recovered by Bigelow, but with the clock running, that's going to be the last play of the game. So as we go five, four, three, two, and one. Final score, Bigelow Panther 35, Yellow Summit Panther. So the final score, Bigelow 35, Yellville 8. Here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. With these teams coming together, shaking hands at the end of the game. Great effort by both teams, playing in some tough conditions, especially here in the second half. Of course, the Panthers will travel to Quitman next Friday night. Next Friday night, of course, Yellville will be playing in Quitman, and then we will be back in two weeks here in Yellville. Uh, real quick update before we go off the air. Right now it's, uh, it's Greenwood 24, Mountain Home 7. Looks like they still got eight minutes left to go in that game, so feel free to tune in our good friends over at XL7, Hometown TV. Uh, we have their link listed on our page. But for all of us, from the loose cannon David McBee and a, a very wet Joey the Dealmaker Shaw uh, this week, go out have some fun this weekend and go out and do something nice for someone. And remember, your tomorrows are never guaranteed as several players sliding across the field for Bigelow. But uh, – we're going to see if we can get out of here without uh, getting our equipment wet. So, hey, have a good evening. Thank you so much for tuning in right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network.